Good morning and greetings to us all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome again to everyone who are joining us for our online devotion on this Friday morning, the 12th of November. Hoping that you are all well and have had a good night's rest and ready for what the Lord has in store for you today. Our verse today comes from John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief comes only in order to steal, kill and destroy. I have come that you might have life in all its fullness. John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief comes only in order to steal, kill and destroy. I have come that you might have life in all its fullness. Salmon Olenga oi eliai se tasi mea e sauai Nao nai nga oi mafasi mafao matia Ua o sauina ya lato maua leola Ya maua a chili ai lava Kukalen Ko te kia a naki ua ta te kia i aire mai Ko te tau ki e kia pou takiri i aire mai nei rao kia rauka to rato ora e kia mata watu te ora Our verse reads The thief comes only in order to steal, kill and destroy I have come that you might have life in all its fullness. In our life there is good and evil, wherever we are. It's something that we are always confronting every day, whether we will do that which is good or whether we will do that which is evil. We make a choice every day which way we will go. And here in our verse this morning, it reads, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that you might have life in all its fullness. Firstly, it's something that we need to understand. In the Ten Commandments, it says, Thou shalt not steal, and thou shalt not kill. So then one needs to ask the question, where did this come from? The spirit of stealing, killing or destroying is always opposing the things of God. And likewise, Jesus takes note of this and declares it in this verse. Stealing, killing or destruction creates lawlessness and ungodliness. In fact, there is no fear of God. If they did, there will not be any stealing, killing or destruction because there will be that respect for God and respect for others. To put it in another way, people just do what they want. But the end in this is destruction. It comes to nothing. Again, that is evil and it is not of God. There are those today who live by stealing. It's a way of life. There are also those who live by killing. Again, it's a way of life, having no conscience of what they've done or are doing. Remember the suicide bombers. Dying or killing is glory to them, the jihad, destruction. What a life, hard and very difficult it may be, but there is another, another life. A good life, an abundant life, a full life. And this life is found only in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came to earth to show us the way to the Father. That's the other half of this verse. Jesus says, 
I am come that you might have life in all its fullness. He is the way, the truth and the life. No one goes to the Father except through him. In him was life and the life was the light of people. You remember the times when Jesus met people, like the time when he met Nicodemus. The words that he spoke, Nicodemus, you must be born again. He saw the need of that person. He was speaking life. Likewise also the woman at the well. When Jesus spoke to her, he said, there's a water that I give, but when you drink of it, it will well up within you. He saw the need and he also knew the life of that woman at the well. And for the many people that Jesus met in his time, the ones that he healed, he gave them life because he was able to meet their needs. In him was life and the life was the light of people. Yes, indeed, he is the way, the truth, and the life. And the Bible says that he that has the Son has life, and he that has not the Son of God has not life, but the wrath of God abides on him. The word life here means life that lasts forever, eternal life, which is the very life of God himself. We receive that when we put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. He becomes our Savior and Lord. So yes, indeed, there is hope in our society, in our world today. In the midst of all the issues and trials we are engaging in, including the COVID-19 Delta variant. But you know what? We need to look to Jesus. Remember the song that goes, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Our verse reads, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I am come to give you life in all its fullness. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this time as we come before your presence this morning. We thank you for your goodness and care over us throughout the night and for the gift of this new day. Thank you too for your word, for reminding us the truth about our lives in terms of stealing, killing and destroying, but also for the reason why you came to give us life in all its fullness. We commit our day into your hands, Lord God, for your leading, for your guidance and for your protection upon us all, uplifting our nation, our leadership, our elderly, our widows, those sick in hospitals, the ICU and at home, those who have lost loved ones, our businesses, our children, our schools, our workplaces, your church everywhere, Lord God. Grant to us all a spirit of calmness and patience in navigating all the things that we are engaging and experiencing at this time. May your peace, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. Just a reminder again to us all, Auckland is at alert level 3, step 2. Please keep obeying all the guidelines of the alert levels which have been given for our respective regions. God bless, take care, 
and keep safe until we meet again tomorrow morning.